my name is Sarah. Um, I get really nervous, so I don't care things I want to say to keep my thoughts organized. Um, I live just off Blue River Road in Redbridge in a neighborhood called Calumet, and we don't have an HOA or any other kind of organizational structure, so we're often not represented at meetings like this. Anyway, so I'd like to talk to you about the Blue River. The river is a large county asset, and the county-owned parklands surrounding the upper and middle Blue River are an important amenity for their constituents, for your constituents, offering physical, mental, and social health benefits. But this incredible asset lives under constant threat from urbanization, pollution, and developers like Ken Block, which you will remember, Jalen. Um, so we need our legislators to help us protect it for the benefit of all. I serve on the board of Heartland Conservation Alliance and live in the very center of the Blue River Park System where community volunteers and nonprofits have spent decades working to remove invasive species and tons of trash and restore the corridor by planting native trees and plants. It's also home to the largest contiguous hand-built single track trail system located wholly within an urban metro in the entire country. I'm gonna say that again because I don't think people realize this. It is home to the largest contiguous hand-built single track trail system located wholly within an urban metro in the country. Built by volunteers. Okay, so this is 60 plus miles of trails for hiking, mountain biking, and trail running that community volunteers have essentially gifted to the county for the benefit of all residents and your constituents. That said, what I wanna know is can we count on you, our legislators, to support the work we're already doing to help us protect this vital community asset from increased development that will harm the river's water quality, decrease community access, exacerbate the urban heat island effect, increase flooding, and degrade an asset we worked so hard to protect and restore. I brought copies of the Blue River report card and other things to give you too. I met you um, at the meeting they had a while ago where they had that, uh, yeah, Mr. Block was here. Um, and you all were very well represented, and actually that, that led me to a couple of cleanup things that you all had organized. So for myself, um, I'm an avid outdoors person. I've run on those trails plenty of times. Um, and so, yes, I believe that outdoor activity helps increase the quality of life um, and in getting more exposure to other parts of the county so they can come and experience uh, areas such as this, um, I think will help everyone understand how important the environment is to the quality of life. So thank you, yes. Well, I'm very familiar with the park because um, I, yeah, I grew up over there, but I, I guess you talked about development. What development are you referring to? Because I, I wasn't aware of any development you're talking about. So the issue was is that uh, Mr. Block came to the, uh, not all, not the entire legislature, but a few, um, and wanted to uh, build a golf course um, 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 clubhouse uh, on this land. Um, which golf course is that? I forgot. It's the Oakwood Oak Country Club. Oakwood Country Club. And um, he was trying to convince a few legislators uh, the chair at the time, the vice chair, and uh, the land use committee chair, uh, to uh, figure out a way, make a deal that if Mr. Block uh, would, uh, if we, we could buy those from us, and then they would give us even better land, or better park land, whatever that might be, um, and that, that switch could be made. Uh, the, uh, Sarah and, and, and others uh, pushed, and this is a focus of the community coming together, pushed back, and myself, Legislator Williams, uh, Legislator Miller, who is the land use chair, uh, Legislator Burnett, and others, uh, and I believe that Mr. Finley as well, uh, pushed back and said, no, we will not sell off these lands. Uh, but that was something that I think that we do have to watch out 
uh, as we move forward, because these lands were being, and, and the nastiest part was, this was the nastiest part, is that then it became a back and forth of some group being anti-Semitic, some group being uh, anti-local government, some group being back and forth, and that nastiness was not quelled by the legislators in action. That was the issue. But, but we were against it. Yes, and I was against it. Okay. So were our community. Yes. Um, Senator, thank you very much. Um, I did not, and I am so appreciative of this opportunity because I did not know about this issue prior to today. Um, and it is so well presented. You didn't seem nervous at all. Um, your passion, the community's passion, um, and Blue River. I mean, I know Blue River. I do know Blue River. Um, so thank you so much. Um, I can commit to, of course, I haven't been sworn in, but I can tell you this. I will commit to uh, revealing this. I will commit to not letting it fall between the cracks. I also want to say, uh, just before, and let's be perfectly clear, our parks and the, the lakes and, and the rivers and all these different types of things, the fact that we have one of the best park system in the United States, and that someone thought that it was fine to come in and buy something, and then to build a clubhouse of all things, uh, and to try to uh, shame the group that had taken, like it, uh, Sarah just mentioned, taken so much time to build up that. But I just want to say I will never before, never before, sell it off our public lands uh, to be used for uh, anything along those lines. We have to preserve it. We have to make sure we pr protect our environment uh, here locally in Jackson County. Right I will say I, I'm for it. I, I, I wasn't. I, I'm familiar with the park. I wasn't aware of the issue. Um, but uh, you need to get me and Manny out there to go hiking. So we'll, we'll take us. Well, I will say that I work for Brittany Gap for two and a half years, so I don't really get to talk about this one anymore. But it relates to that. I actually uh, was welcoming of a program in the congressman's office that talked about food corridor development along uh, the road. So I, I'm very excited for the possibilities of what we can do when it comes to all environmental sustainability issues, not just when it comes to 